so if you already installed your .NET <coughs> .NET SDK and runtimes and VS Code we will create our first ASP.NET MVC application or MVC website so first we will gonna go to our to your go to your file explorer and in in any ad address on your file explorer anywhere you want so create a folder for example we, I will gonna rename this example MVC and then open it and then here just right click and open with code or if you don't have this one just hold shift and then right click and then it will open powershell oh so we don't have any administrator so just right click open with code and then trust yes I trust authors okay like that so if you don't we will return here so if you don't see this open with code just go to here and search VS code like this I have pinned VS code here in my computer we'll wait this to open and then go search your folder created folder like right here open folder and go to the folder you've created so for example D like that and then example MVC and then select folder like that so after that we were gonna go to the on the tabs here terminal new terminal and then once the terminal is opened we will gonna type dot net dot net new mvc so and click press enter So what will happen? What happened? What is happening is .NET is creating boilerplates for our .NET MVC app. So just like this, .NET is creating our MVC app. So .NET created our controllers, models, objects, properties, everything that ne is needed to create an MVC application so later on this pro in this course we will gonna discuss what are the uses or purpose of these folders here and all the files here so once that net created our boilerplates or our codes so we will gonna run this you could click run and debug here or else you can on the run tab here at the above you can start debugging and then you will gonna have to select so select this that had uh, that say is proj file extension wait start debugging okay click run and start debugging again 
and we will gonna choose .NET Core for our environment and then it will ask you required assets to build and debug are missing from example the MVC add them just click yes right here yes and then it will create this folder that VS code and it contains launch JSON and the task JSON these two files are are required to run .NET Core applications Morning. Okay, so once launch JSON and task JSON is created, we will gonna click the run tab and start debugging. Then it will build our application. Go to the bug console. So, what happened is when we run our application right here this that net is already on production mode or on is iis and then that uh, net created a host and then have this local host with a port 5001 so this is our mvc application or web app so minor changes we will change here in views home index cs csh html and then welcome students and then hit save and then restart again it is building and then our changes displays right here so you've created your first ESP.NET MVC application so next we were gonna discuss on what are the use usage or purposes of those those folders and files on our file here okay that is all thank you see you on the next video